So here I am in the Oneida booth, and I'm really proud to say that Oneida, for the fourth year running, is going to be a sponsor of the Rough Cut Show. I'm here with Jeff. What's up, buddy? I'm much, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, I have learned an lo awful lot about dust collection, and the, the most important thing is that you need to capture the dust at the point of where it was you know, created, correct? Right at the source. Yeah. Right at the source. Now, Oneida has a lot of different products, and I know if you watch the Rough Cut Show that you see that I have a really big dust collector. I have one that goes on my little Festool. Um, a vacuum. I even have a little one that's right behind my bench and it's this one right here. Now, can you tell me about this product and what makes this thing so awesome? Well, this is our Dust Cobra and it fits the bill, uh, fills the void between a shop vacuum and a dust collection system. Uh, so it is a size that is in between a, a small shop vacuum and a, and a bigger dust collector like your big one in the back and it makes it real versatile for uh, a lot of the in-between size tools. That's right. Now, you know, this is one of those things that I really didn't know about. It was actually the hose, you know, because um, a lot of different vacuums had a lot of different hoses, right? But the hose system on, on this product and all Oneida products are really awesome. Now, can you tell me what makes this hose so special? Uh, well, we're trying to get the most volume that we can with this system, and so we use a hose that is a uh, uh, smooth wall on the interior, makes it uh, the flow smoother, and uh, gets us about 20 or 30% more air volume than a corrugated hose would. Yeah, and you know what, I really didn't, to be honest with you, I don't put much thought into it, you know what I mean? I just grab a hose and I suck up whatever's on my floor, right? But if you have a corrugated hose, what happens is that all that dust is just going to get, you know, bogged down in all those little crannies and really stop your vacuum from doing a really good job, right? Yeah, it's just one more thing that helps make it efficient, yeah. That's right. And this thing also has a really great feature that I love the most, and it's, um, it runs on a bag, right? You can actually put a plastic bag in not only this one, but all these products, right? Now, that technology just didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of thought, right? Yeah, it's one thing that we innovated with and listened to our customers. They want to be able to bag the dust and just throw it out easily. So we have a, a vacuum hose, puts a pressure on the exterior of the bag and holds it in the drum so it doesn't get sucked up into the vacuum. Yeah, and, and for me, that is really awesome. Now, it doesn't get sucked up into the vacuum, right? But, you know, everybody knows this vacuum over here and vacuums like this. They run on a bag system, so there's usually a bag inside here that gets filled up with a lot of debris really fast. So what you know, Oneida, Oneida has been able to do is create a box right here that sits on the Festool um, vacuum cleaner that really saves you know, me a lot of money from buying bags, right? It saves money and makes it more convenient because we'll put about 95 to 98% of the material, we'll separate it out before it ever gets to the vacuum. So it saves you on the bags and it keeps your suction much more constant over time. Yeah, and you know what? I mean, to be honest with you, at the Rough Cut Show, you know, we get some products in and we just use them and, and I kind of forget to empty my bag. And I swear it was probably like two years since I had my vacuum and we finally just emptied that bag and there was nothing over two years except a fine little amount of dust. And I emptied this thing like a hundred times. Now this one right here is the same technology. You have that bag system in it, so it's really convenient to empty this one as well. Right? Correct. Same technology over here. Plastic bag, make it easy to empty it. Yeah. Now, we're working with Oneida to come out with, um, well not come out with one, but I need a different dust collector in my shop because if you see in my shop, I have this one right here, right? And it's really huge. And since I'm kind of like a one-man shop, it's a little bit of overkill with what I'm doing, and I'm really excited to uh, tell you that Oneida has come out with another really innovative product, but it's a ductwork system, right? Yeah, quick connect piping makes the uh, ductwork easy to install, makes it flexible so when you need to make a change, move a machine, you're not yeah. unscrewing and moving the pipe. So uh, That's awesome, you know what I mean? Because you know something? I'm probably just like you guys. You know, when I had my shop in my basement and then in my garage and now even at the Rough Cut Studio, I'm always moving my machinery around and it's a lot, it's, it's easier for me and better for me to be able to just disconnect that piping and then maybe just re-move it around till it gets right to the machine where, you know, the dust is being created. Because the most important thing we're talking about here is dust collection at the source of where it's created. And if you don't have the ability to move, you know, the dust work around, like the duct work around or, you know, these machines on wheels, then it's really difficult to get that dust, you know, at that source, right? Yeah, exactly. We'll set you up, we'll make you much more modular, much more flexible. Nice. Lean and mean at the Rough Cut Show. So I want to talk to you about one more product that Oneida has come out with, which really makes emptying all these containers really convenient. Check this out. Now, Jeff, can you tell me what's up with this product? Sure. Uh, this is our Dust Sentry, and what it is, it's a level switch, uh, level sensor that you mount in the lid of your container when the dust comes up 
to a certain level, trips the sensor and uh, flashes a strobe light at you to let you know that it's full. Okay. Now, it's really important to empty these things once they start to get full because what happens? Well, if you don't empty, it's got to go somewhere so it all winds up in your filter or uh, <laughs> yeah. clogs the thing up. So. Hey, and I've done that more than <laughs> once, I hate to admit it, right? But I have stuffed my filter full of debris and it's really not fun to clean them out, right? And I'm sure I'm not the only one on the planet that's done it. So this sensor right here is really saving me and Eli at the shop. Listen, I want to thank you for your time. I think that you're coming out with some really innovative products. We're going to run around to see what else we got, you know, down here at the Vendor Trade Show. I'll see you later.